Hello everyone out there on YouTube and the internet. This is Christopher McKee with Alamo Music. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. We're here in beautiful San Antonio, Texas today to bring you a very special guitar from Martin Guitars. We have a review, but we also have a story. So grab your juice box and sit down, gather around, because I'm gonna tell you about Chris and Pat's trip to Nazareth, PA. So myself and my friend and cohort, Patrick Marr, were invited to the Martin factory. Last October, we made the trip up there to Nazareth, Pennsylvania, to the historic Martin factory to see how they build their guitars and to select wood for a very special custom shop, Martin, which is what I have here in my lap. I'll tell you a little bit about the trip. It was, uh, it was a pleasure to be invited by Martin. It's a wonderful perk to this job that I love to do. It's, it's great to have those kinds of opportunities, particularly with such a storied brand like Martin. I mean, Martin Guitars has basically invented the modern steel string guitar that we know today. They invented the dreadnought body. They invented uh, X bracing for crying out loud. I mean, a 14 fret neck is due to Martin's innovation over the years. And so you can't say acoustic guitar without saying CF Martin. And uh, so it was a real pleasure. Now, while we were there, we got to first visit the original historic factory where everything started. And production's no longer being done there, but we uh, were able to walk the hall and the workshop, uh, workshops of those early guitars where luthiers were building guitars by hand, one at a time, by daylight at the window, uh, and, and seeing their work tables and benches and, and uh, even scribblings on the sides of the windows where they would make notes of uh, the weather and things like that. The weight of the history that was standing in there really impressed upon me, you know, and then we got to go to their new factory. And what's really impressive is to see that Martin hasn't lost the traditions that it's founded upon. And so it's taken those ideas uh, of handmade craftsmanship and blended it with the innovations of say CNC machines and robotics. So they're using the CNC machines where consistency is desired, robotics where maybe back breaking labor uh, can be done by machine first and then finish off by hand when we're talking about finishes. They've utilized these where they need to, but then in other areas, particularly in the custom shop department, there's so much work that's still being done by hand. I saw um, Luthier's hand carving necks and uh, hand carving bracing and mixing hide glue and putting this stuff on, doing finish sanding by hand on all of the bracing, no matter what series it was, it was impressive to say the least. And so with those images in mind, we then got to go uh, to the museum and that was quite a treat. Being handed guitars of historical um, and just significant value was uh, was quite a treat. I, I thought we'd just be in there looking at them through glass, and when they started handing them to us, uh, I really, really liked my job. I got to play Hank Williams' old D18. I got to play a pre-war D45 of Brazilian Roseman and Adirondack and a, and a OM45 Deluxe with banjo tuners on it. I mean, it was awesome. We had a blast. And then we got to go to the wood selection department. And we got to pick out woods for a special custom guitar. Leading up to the trip for months, I had agonized over what kind of guitar we would build because we wanted it to, to be special and we wanted it to be vintage inspired um, and, a, and accommodating to the modern player. And you know, when you do that, and, I, and I've done this before, you go in without really knowing how things are gonna turn out. You, you hope that the guitar will meet all of your expectations. And this guitar has exceeded all of those expectations. So we are, we are really, really happy and pleased with it. I think it speaks to the testament of Martin as a builder and what their custom shop is capable of doing. So with all that said, let's talk a little bit about this special guitar that I have in my lap. Um, I'd like nothing more than to keep this guitar, but I'm gonna be unselfish and I'm gonna let a lucky person take it home and let it be their prize and treasure for generations to come because this is an heirloom quality instrument. So we started with a small body and we decided to go with a triple O body. So it's got a shorter scale, uh, 24 and three quarters neck with a triple O uh, body. 
The top is premium Sitka spruce that's utilizing Martin's VTS system. That's vintage tone system. And that is a blending when it comes to the bracing and torfaction to open and age the guitar top. So that right out of the case, you're getting a guitar that's opened up just like a 70 year old guitar would be. Wonderful coloration too. They really have nailed down what they're doing when it comes to that system. The bracing inside is Adirondack spruce. It's scalloped bracing using golden era bracing patterns. So this has been adhered to the top using hide glue construction and hand carved and sanded by the custom shop. Now the uh, rosette is a standard uh, 28 style rosette. We have a beveled tortoiseshell pick guard here, an ebony bridge and a bone saddle. Now I decided not to go with a long saddle but rather a more modern style short saddle here because this pick this guitar does not have a pickup in it but should someone who buys this guitar want to add an under saddle pickup to it this is a lot easier to utilize than a long saddled guitar would be so again vintage inspired but modern approachable okay so uh, moving on we've got an ebony fingerboard uh, on top of a mahogany neck with a three quarter inch bone nut now the neck pattern is a slim taper with a three quarter inch nut. It's basically the same neck you'd find on a triple O 18 body. And, and personally, I think it's one of my favorite carves in the Martin lineup. It's very comfortable. It works well for flat picking, for strumming and for finger style. It's not too wide. It's not too narrow and it's very comfortable in the hand. We uh, decided to go with a wonderful abalone slotted diamond inlay on the fingerboard as well. Um, Basically, it's, it's a wonderful looking inlay. It's not over the top, but it's definitely something that's, that sets it apart. You know there's something special about this guitar. It's not a run of the mill, but it's not overly ornate, okay? The body is bound in Madagascar Rosewood. That's also on the headstock up here with uh, the golden foil uh, or golden era gold foil Martin inlay. So this is the same. Um, overlay or, or that you'd see on uh, the vintage Martins back in the 30s. And then we finished it off with open back tuners. Uh, these are Goto open back tuners and I chose those because they're very, very smooth. Without even knowing the brand the first time I ever turned those on a Martin, I'm like, that's what I want on the custom guitar. Moving to the wood that we selected, we chose one of the prettiest pieces of Cocobolo I've ever seen in my life. Um, it has a wonderful tap response to it and on this guitar, the tones fantastic. When we decided that we were going to go with Cocobolo, we sorted through a bunch of different stacks until they had an idea of what we were looking for and brought out some and we found this beautiful back and side piece. And uh, the book match is wonderful. The hues of red and orange and browns and blacks. Uh, it's just phenomenal. It's a wonderful figure, but it also has a fantastic tone as well. And of course, it's all finished off in beautiful nitrocellulose finish. So, it's one heck of a guitar. It sounds phenomenal. The sustain is great. It's very full. It's very loud. I hope that just a, 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 a portion of how good this guitar sounds comes through on YouTube. So, it's available for someone ver that, to have a very special guitar. Without any further ado, let me let you hear what it sounds like.
hope you enjoyed our review and our story about this special custom shop triple O from Martin Guitars that we designed at the factory. If you have any questions about this guitar, feel free to give me a call. I came up with the specs. I know every inch of this guitar, so I'll be glad to answer any questions you have. You can also go online to alamomusic.com, send us an email, come in the store and try it yourself. We want to make sure that someone gets this special guitar. It deserves a wonderful home for many, many, many years to come. As always, I want to thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.